guys, what is up? It is your girl Kendall. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, my little sweeties. Okay, guys, time for a live update. <laughs> With, okay, first off, this coronavirus business has gone out of hand. Like, people need to chill. Yes, it is kind of scary. Yes, people are susceptible to it, and there are people at risk. If you're older, if you have... If you're, if you have, <laughs> holy shit, I can't speak today. I totally forgot the word. I've been saying this to everybody. Basically, if you have an at-risk immune system, there's a word for it. And I totally just spaced it. That's cool. That's really cool. Of course I did. So, how has this been affecting my life? <laughs> Honestly? Here's what's crazy. Literally a week ago, everything was fine. It wasn't until Thursday. Honestly, it wasn't until Thursday. Like, in, because it was Thursday when it was, like, confirmed to be in Utah. And that's when we found, like, it was around, like, Wednesday night, Thursday. When we found out, like, it is in Utah and it is in these cities. And, like, two jazz players do have it and shit like that. But literally everything was perfectly fine. We were just told... Like, the general, don't touch your face and wash your hands constantly. Like, that's what we were told in the beginning at work. And for school and stuff. Because I went to classes. Okay. <laughs> to classes Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. <sighs> so wild. Literally Thursday, just acting like normal day. Wearing my cute outfit. Going to class. Get shit done. Go home a little early. Because class got out early. And then that's when I found out from one of my best friends that UVU closed. One of the college universities closed campus. I don't know if it's like closed closed, but all of the classes are basically online. And I was like, what? What? I'm like, has it gotten that bad? And then this is when I started hearing all the And then I checked my, my school email. I was like, let me check my email. Because, let me check my school email because, um, this is crazy. And lo and behold, there was an email saying, classes are now online for the rest of the semester and the campus will be closed. I'm pretty positive. I can't remember. If, I can't remember if tutoring stuff's opened at my college. But I know other places, like, the campus is, like, still open. Like, tutoring's still available, um... And stuff like that in the library and whatever. But I have no idea what's going on with sleep entirely. I kind of forgot when I read it. All I know is that all my classes are online. And I do not have to leave my house. On Tuesdays and Thursdays. And with work, this kind of sucks. But it's okay. I'm hanging in there. With work. So literally last week was fine. Friday we were all like... So Thursday, after, so Friday is when on like our work group chat, it's on this app called Slack, is when we were told, okay guys, no more refill, no more getting refills, we're closing the playland, do not touch your face, wash your hands frequently, and like all these like things were put in place for our health and safety, and everyone else's health and safety. And the whole strict thing of if you get sick, okay, so I'll, okay, fast forward. Okay, backtrack. So last Saturday and Sunday, I was sick. But I I honestly don't think it was the coronavirus. Like, I really don't think it was. I really, really don't think it was. Because it was literally just a small cold. That's what it was like. Like, my throat hurt and stuff, and I felt, like, sick. I had some chills. I had a slight fever. But no matter, like, any symptoms, though, the day before, like, the Friday before shit went down. Like, that night I started feeling it. I'm like, oh, I'm sick. Great. Of course. During the coronavirus. And everyone's gonna be like, yeah, the coronavirus. But no, I don't. <laughs> I hike. It wasn't even around here yet. It wasn't even... No. I... <laughs> I am so fucking isolated as a person. <laughs> Just because, like, I'm happy that way. Like, I, lo I love hanging out with my friends. I do make plans. I'm not flaky. I do come out of my room and shit, and I go to work and shit, but now I'm, like, straight up quarantined. <laughs> it's my joke is that this is quarantine time, because, God, my mind is everywhere, so I was sick. 
sick Saturday, Sunday, literally Monday I woke up, I closed Monday night. I was perfectly fine. No runny nose, no cough, nothing. I was like, okay, just like keep watching the symptoms and stuff if anything happens. Absolutely nothing. I've been 110% fine. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so fast forward to back to what I was talking about. Okay, so when I came home, that night is when we got on work. Like, all these restrictions. Okay, put in place. So Friday was really, really... Oh, yeah, and another thing. We, we're not using trays anymore. That was another big thing. So get to work. I'm like, okay, like, kind of feeling like a little panic. Not entirely, but I'm like, okay, this shit's getting real. Because <laughs> I was just laughing and being like, we're fine. We're all fine. Like, <laughs> you're not going to get the coronavirus and die. And then I didn't realize, like, how serious like, it actually Like, I knew people were susceptible to it and were at risk. And I knew, like, what, like who was at risk and stuff. But I didn't know to what extent, like, if... Because if you actually get it and, like, you're in the 5% that could potentially die, it's really, really bad. So I'm like, oh, geez. That's, that's scary. So, but anybody else, if you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> This shit's just crazy. All the fucking toilet paper. It was for Thursday when I heard all the toilet paper just, was just getting sto stockpiled. And I was like, what? I was so confused. First off, why all the toilet paper? Like, I thought people were kidding when they said, I saw some lady at Costco have like 10 things of toilet paper. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, this is not real. Like, that's that's crazy. Like, yes, the like, Gilmore like the oh my god don't panic like that like that's what makes this whole situation this is what makes me panic this is what gives me anxiety is not the virus I don't give a shit about that sickness I don't give a shit with that when it comes to me and my health I'm fine I'm perfectly fine I feel bad for people who aren't fine if they get it and I feel for them and I'm like yeah like we need to like listen to everything that's happening so we don't kill people with the virus. Like people at ri people who are at risk fight for their lives eventually. You know, like that's not cool. Oh my god, <laughs> I was just laughing. My brain is everywhere. I'm still like tired and dazed out because of course I've been like getting weird sleep. I slept, like, good. It's just, I've been going to bed, like, okay, that's kind of bothering me, but, like, I guess we just have to accept the fact that that's going to be there. Hold on. I am not accepting that fact. Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay. Oh, hell. <laughs> Out of the bright light. There we go. That's better. Okay, it was bothering me. It was totally just bothering me. Okay, back to the story. So Friday was nuts, say the least. Friday was absolutely, in, this past Friday was absolutely insanity. At one point, I don't know why it was this, because we're always this busy on the weekends. Us not having trays? For what? Oh yeah, we couldn't use table markers. That's why, Doug and all. For whatever reason, us not having trays and not having table... Okay, that's what did it, was not having table markers. Because we literally had put everything as carry out, everything was in bags. At one point, we were literally all running out orders. <laughs> A ton of us running out orders. <laughs> Including myself, of course. And it was just... Oh my gosh. I... People were... Like, stress was, like, high. <laughs> Everyone started yelling at each other at one point because there wasn't enough room, like, to put the bags down or whatever. And, like, people were yelling, like, I need space, I need space, and then, like, give me space and all this. Da, da, da. Like, I didn't take it personally because I know, like, we're just trying to get stuff done if fast, quick, and as quick and efficient as possible. But I got, like, overwhelmed, and I literally was this close to having to go in the bathroom and have a meltdown and just cry. <laughs> I haven't had a meltdown in a long time, so I. <laughs> Honestly, like, what gets me into that place to have a meltdown is intense, it's like, really intense feelings in situations like that. If, like, everyone's yelling at each other, and I'm just like, I know not to take it personally, I'm not mad at them for making me feel that way. That's just, that's just how my brain is. It's just how I am. How I've always been. 
and <laughs> then everything was fine, everything calmed down, then just, oh my god. Then it was slow afterwards, it was like really weird ass lunch rush, like I did not think we were going to have that many people. And another stressful thing is that I had to chase down kids to not be in the playland, because at first they weren't letting me put, they weren't, I guess they weren't letting us put one of the heavy benches from the playland in front of the door. They would just put the high chairs in front of it, but you can move those. Easy. Anybody can move those easy. And parents were not reading the signs on our door saying, like, Playland's closed. So, yeah, it's a great time. So, eventually, I was like, okay, I, mean, I need to put that out there. I'm like, okay, kids are, I've had to chase down kids at this point. Like, it's not working. They're, we need to put the bench in front of it. It's basically what I was saying. And then I got the okay to do it. Because I was like, hell no. <laughs> this is way too stressful. <laughs> this is way, way too stressful right now. And then Saturday, Friday night is when we got the whole, is when I got the message, Saturday night, Friday morning, around then, is when I got the, we got the message for work that, um, starting today we we're going to be closing the dining room. So Saturday I went to work, like, everything was fine, literally five minutes before I clocked in, when I was just chilling, drinking my drink, finishing my chicken nuggets, because I hadn't eaten shit, because, yeah. Your girl scatter brain. And my manager Brig, I love Brig to death. Love all my managers, not gonna lie. Brig, they're all awesome. Brig just immediately, like, just comes out. Dining room has been closed immediately. <laughs> I'm just like, what? I'm like, some shit just went down. I don't know what has happened or what is going on around here. Because, yeah. Because... I guess it was heard close by in Park City. No, not Park City. Summit by Park City? Somewhere by Park City! <laughs> I think Summit is what it's called. Yeah. Like, a whole restaurant was affected with it? Or whatever? Something like that? I don't know the whole story and I'm not gonna act like I know anything because I don't. Because some they were saying something. They told us something afterwards and I was like, dang. So literally Friday... Not Friday, Saturday. Saturday. All I did was just deep clean the dining room. Like, here's what I did. I turned over all the tables, just got the scraper, got gloves on, got the soapy water bucket, and the green scrubby, and got all the gum and shit off the bottom of the tables and did the best I could to make it look better because those nasty as tables have needed to be cleaned for a long time and we never have time to do it. So finally, I took the opportunity, and then I made a list. <laughs> this is how much my job means to me. I made a list of what needs to get deep cleaned, basically, for my manager, Marcus, for the night crew, or whoever's in dining room that night. And yeah, it was it was a great time. I literally was like had a plan formulated in my brain. I'm like, okay, guys. I didn't know how long the table. I didn't think the tables were gonna take me all damn day. I honestly did not know how long it was going to take. So, and I was trying to go as quick as possible with having to, with obviously having to change the water eventually every, like, five tables. I had to get, like, it was, like, halfway through I had to get scrubbies, and then, like, the end I had to get another, like, new green scrubbies. We had a ton of them, so it's, it's fine. I wasn't, I wasn't wasting them. I was literally using them in, like, till they could not be used no more. <laughs> And yeah, it was a fun time. Because Saturday I was worried. I was like, I don't want it to be busy. I don't want to deal with people. Yesterday was a nightmare. And then Saturday was literally everything I needed. So that's when I didn't... Things change. Obviously, if dining room closes, I don't work. Because <laughs> I'm not in dining Because I'm in dining room. That's all I do. Dining room's my thing. So for a couple weeks, I'm probably not... I don't know if I'm going to be working like at all next week. But I know this week I'm not working. But Friday, I do have an on-call shift. But I doubt they're going to call me to come in. I highly doubt they're going to need me to come in. Like, I sincerely... I will be shocked if they call me and say... I'm happy to come in anyway, either way, to help and stuff and clean. But if that's what they need, it's just less people, like, to be there because of the labor count and stuff. And everything, we don't want to waste labor. I understand that. And stuff. I get it. 
So, and then it was Saturday night, no, Sunday, yeah, Saturday night when I was asked, do you need the hours? Like, do you care if you don't work for a little bit? Just let me know from the girl, Kelly, who schedules everything. I love Kelly to death. And I basically was like, either way, I'm fine. Because I am. Like, I just got paid. My tax return is coming. Like, I'm not worried. I live at home. Yeah, I pay like a small form of rent, but I already paid that for the month. I already paid my phone bill. Like, I'm not worried. <laughs> but it was a little stressful because I honestly didn't know what they were going to do. Like, I honestly thought I was like, going to at least have like one solid shift, but like, no. Even though on call shift is like still a shift, but there's a huge, it's 50 50 though. So yeah, that's what's been going on. It's been a fun time. Been cleaned yesterday. You can tell it's clean here. <laughs> I'm probably gonna start like rearranging things in my room and deep clean like surfaces and stuff. And yeah, I deep cleaned my tub yesterday, my bathroom yesterday was deep cleaned, and yeah. Things are going good. This is why I think of the coronavirus or the Caronavirus, <laughs> as Trump spelled it. Honestly, guys, just wash your hands, don't touch your face, cancel plans. Like, next Monday was supposed to be the Melanie Martinez concert. It's being canceled and shows are being switched up again. Like, and that's okay, because we need all need to be safe and healthy and stop being complete fucking idiots and stockpiling things. You don't need to stockpile. Only grab what you need. Like, Friday morning, I didn't think, like, I was scared because I started my period Thursday. I'm like, okay, I think I have enough tampons for now. Maybe I can get some. I didn't think about, like, like if that was going to be, like... I don't know what people are grabbing here. All I know is that I was seeing crazy-ass videos in California of people, of YouTubers, going down aisles, and every aisle was wiped out. Nothing. Like, it was crazy. I've never seen anything like that in my life. And I didn't know how bad it was as a whole in, in my area. I knew, like, Smith's was out of stuff. I knew toilet paper was all gone anywhere. I knew that. I knew water bottles were gone. <clears throat> but I was thinking, I was like, shit, if these motherfuckers, if these Utah bitches stockpiled the tampons, I'm going to start knocking on doors and be like, you. <laughs> like, honestly, that was... <laughs> I'm like, you. <laughs> Because I oh my God, needed tampons. Like, it was, I was so, I was hoping Friday morning. Because things, it's so funny. Because, like, the cleaning supplies is, like, wiped out, basically. And all the toilet paper's gone. But all the shampoo, body wash, and deodorant haven't been touched. <laughs> Those aisles are good, man. Because I got shampoo. Makeup wipes were like pretty picked. Makeup wipes were going, but nothing too crazy. So I just got extra makeup wipes just in case. Because it's going to be a crazy quarantine kind of thing going on here. Not going to want to go anywhere really. Unless you really need to. And then... God. <laughs> oh, this shit's wild. And so thankfully I found tampons. Thankfully, I found two boxes of, like, tampons that I need. Because that will last me, like, at least three months. Or, like, two and a half. It'll last me enough. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not worried. That was the only thing I was worried about. I'm not worried about toilet paper because we have that. I wasn't worried about that, like, at all. I wasn't worried about paper towels. Just in case we run out of toilet paper. We're fine. We're good. That I wasn't worried about. But I was hard. And then what's kind of scary is that all the formula's gone. All the baby formula's, like, gone. So I feel bad. And, like, diapers and shit. So I feel bad for moms who have babies. And I have a niece and nephew who are baby children. So, like, Owen is a baby. Buffy is a baby child. <laughs> like. So that really sucks and then schools like public schools are closed for two weeks in some states it's closed for three weeks some places like it's it's wild so yeah, for two weeks 
the dining room's gonna be closed. It could be three, potentially, but I have no idea. I was told two, but then something made me think it was like three could happen. So yeah, that's what's been going on with here. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm happy, I'm calm. I can't read about, because I don't even know like what, like there's a lot of bullshit people are saying. So honestly, I'm just listening to my mom who's a nurse. Because she's going to give me the most. I'm literally just listening to um, my boss from work, Becky, because she knows people, like, state and stuff like that. State senator and things like that. And people, like, who are, like, no healthcare shit. You know what I mean? So I only listen to her updates. <laughs> Like, that kind of government update, like, from her. Because I, like, trust that the most. And my mom. Because she's a nurse. So, yeah. This is wild. <laughs> and just just be safe, kids. <laughs> Honestly, take it seriously. Don't. You can hang out with friends still. But, like, only be, like, one friend at a time. Don't be, like, I don't know. Just don't be stupid. Don't go to clubs. They're, they might be closed. I have no idea what's closed or not at this point. I just know restaurant inside dining rooms are starting to close because ours is closed. So yeah, hope everyone's doing good. I'm doing good. Things have just been wild. Not much has been going on beside that. And I know I still need to re-voice over the Club Penguin video because it was muted because my ass didn't check it. That's happened before, before I screen recorded. <laughs> and I'm not redoing it. Like, that video, the Star Wars one, is amazing, man. I am not. Like, I was like, I'm not deleting this. I'm not redoing it. I'm just gonna voice it over. Like, no. I worked too hard on this. It's genuine reactions to what the Star Wars party was. And so, yeah. So crazy. It's been a year since Club Penguin contest started coming out. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking weird. <laughs> it's weird because, like... Last year, not around this exact time, but last year for like two months, I for eight weeks I couldn't work because I had surgery and stuff. And now I'm like in that predicament again, like for like two weeks, like not working whatsoever. So yeah. And I feel bad for anyone who is the this is like totally affecting, like hardcore, who actually like are worried about not working. Be funny, hang in there. It's gonna be okay. Saying good vibes. And yeah. Things are good. Things are good. Things are good. I'm just probably gonna continue to just chill, clean, watch Disney Plus, eat, color, work on my puzzle. Yeah. Hope everyone's good and just, yeah, calm down. <laughs>